Hello everyone, General Scar here, and I am deciding to move this these kind of videos from my other channel, Blockland Help, well at least some of the videos, over to uh, Space Top Games to get some more videos up on this channel and hopefully get more views on the videos maybe. But I'll still be uploading some on my other channel that have these, youtube.com slash Blockland Help, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> If that's wrong, there'll be a link, but, uh, correct link in the description. Um, and there should be an annotation on the screen right now. Uh, so, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a MIDI sequencer, which is basically just one of these things, where you choose the notes you want to play, and uh, it plays them for you. And you can just make it... Uh, you can make it loop if you want, but uh, for now I'm just going to show you a basic one. I whipped this up in about five minutes, it's not that hard to make. Uh, so, you're going to need pretty much three bricks, possibly less if you want this one for your bass, uh, flat bricks for your notes, and one by five brick for the back part which sends relays into the notes so it just plays the note. Uh, this is pretty much all going to be all relays, it's all default events. So let's go set up an event for this brick here. So uh, on relay, self play sound. Actually first let's set toggle event enabled on relay self not relay I'm silly on activate self toggle event enabled and then on relay self play sound play sound I can never find this one and we're just gonna have that one set to none on relay self play sound again and this one's going to be synth one uh, but synth 401 oh, 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 actually this is going to be our lowest note and now to indicate whether it's on or off we're going to have uh, on activate self set color fx glow on activate self set color fx none okay so now we're going to check these two off and these are going to be the four events that we're going to be toggling when we click on the brick so we're going to set one two three four make sure you have spaces in between each one now to make sure that it works we're going to let's see just check the direction here set this one up on activate so fire relay East, which is all we need right now. So now when it's glowing, it plays a sound, and when it's not, it doesn't. Okay, I'm going to change this to a transparent brick, and this to white, because that's going... Okay, we're going to mess with those later. Now we are just going to basically... Let's just do with five here. And we're going to copy the events from this one, because we only need to change one thing, and that's the note that is playing. And we just keep doing this for each brick. Okay, so now that we have that, we can click on each one, and they'll each glow. And each one that isn't glowing will not play a sound, but each one that is does play a sound. Now, uh, if you don't have... Well, you can do this without uh, the duplicator, but you'd have to keep doing each one of those over and over through the whole thing. But with the duplicator, it's definitely a lot easier, because you can just do that. And now we're going to set up this up brick here with events. And we're going to uncopy and on relay. This one's going to have all on relays. Self fire relay 
east on relay self fire relay north and this is to indicate which one which beat it's on on relay self set color fx i guess beat uh, glow relay self set color fx none we're going to have this have a 100 uh, let's go with a 200 millisecond delay same with this one yes okay and so when we click on this brick oh we haven't invented this one right yet um, on activate self fire relay north so we click on this brick and it'll send a relay to here which will then send a relay to this pair of bricks here and to any other brick this way brick next to it so we're going to duplicate this brick here all the way across so now we have a basically a stream of bricks that go relays that go that way um, let's set this to a 200 delay all as, as well so now we can set the MIDI up to be something with music ta-da! you have a MIDI sequencer and you can go all the way up to let's see synth 11 so you can have 12 flat bricks if you want um, so it's not that hard it's you can just do it anytime you really want to so that is how you make a MIDI sequencer in Blockland